Hereby known to all that the Connecticut Senate hereby offers its sincerest congratulations to the First Cathedral of Bloomfield in recognition of graciously hosting Chef Jay's Gospel Brunch and Culinary Expo. Y'all can give it up. This culinary community event is designed to create opportunity and visibility for local small businesses, chefs, and bakers. Bishop, your church and its members continue to be pillars of strength in our community. We thank you for continuing to be a strong community partner. The entire membership extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued success given this day, the 16th day of April 2016. It has state capitol, but at the First Cathedral in Bloomfield, Connecticut. Signed by Martin M. Looney, President Pro Temp, and Denise Merrill, uh, Secretary of State. Let's give it up for First Cathedral and Chef Jay Lewis. I always like to say something. Thank you so very much. Thank you, uh, Representative Brendan McGee and all of you beautiful people and the chefs. And hope you're having a great time in the Lord. Wish we could spend more time with you, and I know you're doing well. Keep those smiles going. God bless you. So, y'all, I was going to wait until one, but wow, these microphones are just not cooperating, are they? Um, so, first of all, just really briefly, because I don't want to keep y'all from eating, right. <laughs> So this is, this is the Welcome to the Gospel Brunch, obviously. All these local chefs here, um, all these bakers here are fantastic culinary artists. I'm hoping that you're taking advantage of you know, getting their business cards and, 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 and really engaging them because a lot of these people can deliver lunch right to, your, right to your job. So let's keep the money here in the community. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But there's something else I wanted to talk about today. I... Recently, as you guys know, I wrote a cookbook called The Gentleman's Cookbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's in Barnes and Noble all over the country. But I got there because of what I was able to do locally, right here in the, in the state. Barnes and Noble checks numbers and they say, well, who's gonna get in, who's gonna get out? Who can get in? I achieved the numbers I had to achieve to get into Barnes and Noble stores from sales right here. All right, now, all right, all right. That's it. And I intend to write a second cookbook. In fact, I've already planned it. Ashley, where's my flight? Here it is, right here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna write my entire second cookbook in Africa. All right. All right, man. The Gentleman's Cookbook 2 will be written entirely in Africa. South Africa, a little bit in Botswana, a little bit in Nigeria. Um, it's available for pre-sale, obviously, as you can see. But I also was happy enough, and, kind, and, and the legislature was kind enough. So if you can, I want to show you how we how, how we doing it here. No, I got it. I got it. I ain't gonna drop it. It's wave trim. <laughs> and by the way, let it not be lost on anybody that I'm reading my own citation. So, <laughs> well, you want me to read? Yeah. Somebody else read this. Yeah. yeah. yeah read, I mean, it'd be fitting that I do it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 